This week's Torah portion, Teruma Shemot, found in Exodus 25, uh, verse 8, I'm going to start at, says, They shall make for me a sanctuary that I may dwell within them. And the sages say that it does not say that I may dwell within it, as in the sanctuary, but rather that I will dwell within them, each and every one of them. And Rabbi Shaul in 2 Corinthians 6.16 denotes to this, where he says, For you are a temple of the living God, even as God said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Now, the Torah has always said, is always saying that the body is the temple. There's a physical temple and a spiritual temple. And here in this week's portion, we see that the body is a temple that is made without human hands. There's a wonderful parable that tells the story of a king who had a one and only daughter. And another king came to marry her. And he wanted to take her back to his country. Now the father said to him, My daughter whose hand I have given you in marriage, I cannot part from her. But neither can I tell you not to take her. Because she is your wife. But this one thing I ask of you is that wherever you go to live, that you build for me a chamber that I may dwell within you. Because I can't part from my daughter. And in the same way, God said to the Jewish people, This is my one and only Torah I cannot part from, and I cannot tell you to take it. But I ask that through it, I, that you build for me a house that I may dwell within you. Now in the Tanakh, we see that the second temple was destroyed. And the Talmud says that it was destroyed because of baseless hatred. In the same way that... Joseph's brothers had baseless hatred towards him because he spoke against them and their authority. Yet in God's grace, patience, and mercy, instead of destroying the Jewish people, he destroyed the temple instead. Now we move to the Brit Kadashah, where some Jewish leaders had baseless hatred towards Yeshua HaMashiach because he spoke against them and their authority. He said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Now they should have known what he was talking about because the Torah speaks of the body being the temple. Yet they didn't want to hear it. Yet in God's grace, patience, and mercy, instead of destroying them, God destroyed Yeshua. The temple. The living Torah. And yet Yeshua raised it from its foundation. God said, this is my one and only son. This is my Torah, the living Torah, whom I can't part from. Neither can I tell you to take it. But I ask that through him that you build for me a house that I may dwell within you. Once and for all. Shema Yisrael.